a Canadian treasure hunter here. It's uh, Friday. It's uh, you can see it's pretty sunny, cloudy, sunny kind of weather. Uh, it's at least 20 right now, but I'm working on uh, cleaning some brass here. I need to make some room in my garage. Um, cleaning some of it. I'm not cleaning 100%, but this thing is uh, some of the taps are so cheap. This is all like a pot metal aluminum. Probably a stainless steel around it, but it's got to point some of these things are really cheap. They're not even worth really cleaning, it's just pure junk. But I'll clean what I can on most of it. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about the solder on this, I don't have a lot, not worth the mounts. You know, there's like a, a 12 or 13 cents difference, not really worth my time. But, anyways, um. Some of those taps I can't get get them off there. They're uh, all corroded and stuff, so we have to sell them the way they are. Or I get a smash from the hammer. Either way, we'll see what I'll do. Okay, we're gonna continue. Continue with the adventure. This is what I found the other day. I showed you my last video. It's actually brass. Look like copper, but it's brass. Okay, thank you. Yeah, some of these taps are pretty strange. Looking uh, really plasticky. Uh, i never seen this style before, but we'll see. I'll screw it quickly. It's even brass. Steel. I'm just going to crack it first. This little tool I have is no good, but there it is. Okay. It's a weird, it's a bit of a weird one, this one. It's going to get cheaper and cheaper every day. Some things you have to check with a file. Some kind of like stainless or something. Sticks on pretty good there. See if I could just bang with chisel. It's a kind of a soft rubber, but hard. There it is. There, I popped it off. Different one for you. Okay, relatively cheap looking tap. I'll take it apart. Okay, to take this off, say you're trying to change a handle or whatever you want to do, but the handle's loose. Just pop, pop these things off here. You pop them off. There. And then there's some screws here. See, so you can just pop them off with that. Screws are loose, it's just uh, handles. Sometimes these handles are get coated on there, look like brass. They're not popping off. Okay. 
And then you're going to take uh, this one here, the lower one off here. There it is. So you're taking that lower one nut off. Some of these things don't even look like brass, but this one could be brass. Yeah, see, see how the file shows as brass? I've been seeing steel ones, I've seen stainless steel mixed. This is plastic crap. And then pull it off here. It's like it's hardly worth even separating this, but let's just separate the copper, the brass. So over time, you know, this little bit of copper will start adding up. Like this, this is not a hundred percent clean because they want you to take these in, inside here. But I'm finding they're all so corroded that I have problems getting them out. I don't have my vice set up right now, but normally you put in a vice and you unscrew that here or a couple of pipe wrenches. But let's see if I can open one up. I'm just gonna sell mine at just a little at a lower price. See if I can pop that open. There it is. See, some scrapyards don't care too much about the centerpiece. But the other place they care make a big deal. You know, there's little um, little washers and things in there, but so I'm sure I, if I took this and sold this, these one. I wonder if that's even brass. It probably should be brass. It wouldn't be steel. It wouldn't make sense. You know what? They use a steel. It's funny. They use brass everywhere else, but they use a steel steel one here. Does that make sense? Not really, though. So that's why they don't pay exact clean price because it's slightly dirty. So. But normally that's a brass, so I don't understand why that would be steel. Something stupid there. Someone cheaped out or that's brass there. And this is brass, but like I say the screw the screw is steel. You pop that off here. Which doesn't make sense. It should be it should be brass I would think because it's contacting water at all times. It's gonna corrode. Or unless it's maybe the like a stainless steel, like an irony. In the steel. Okay, magnetic. So if you don't clean this 100% like this, they're not going to say it's 100% clean. Some uh, scrap yards give you a little, like maybe a dollar eighty a pound, but to get clean brass, it's got to be like this. Clean. Nothing on it. Right. Okay. Let's see Here's what else another one. I just all I did is I ripped, ripped a piece off here. There's actually not even any screws in there. I just ripped that off. Okay, same same idea. Usually there's a little area here, an indentation. Pop it off. That's your most common. Like you see these, you know, you go back and forth and adjust the water and all that, cold and hot. So you know, I just unscrew this here. Let's just do the quick magnet test. Brass. Brass stainless, who knows? I'm finding these ones are hard to get off for some reason. I don't know why. I tried a couple of them, couldn't get them off. It's a little bit different design, so we'll see what happens. Alright, this one's easier. Okay, this one's got a couple screws here. The 
plastic again. And this will be steel here. Actually, no, it's a cast aluminum. So I can sell this as aluminum, I would think. It should be cast aluminum, I would think. Any comments, let me know. Okay. Normally, to be honest, I always stick that into a scrap steel pile. I never bothered, but it looks like cast aluminum. If it's cast aluminum and it's clean, it's 58 cents a pound. So it wouldn't be too bad, right? Better than putting it for 8 cents. It starts adding up, you know, after all it does add up. Like see some of these like see this is another another version here. I need to get my chisel. And then there's an Allen key in there. So you have to determine what size it is because they all seem to be different sizes. I don't know why they're so some are really, really big. Probably a size that I don't have. I had every size here, but I dropped this container and I lost some pieces. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you unscrew that one there. The handles should pop off. You remember, everything's sitting here. There it is, it popped off. That one unscrews. This one comes like that. Then I gotta take this one off. There's clean. Piece of grass. And then what I'll do is I'll unscrew these two. There are three screws here. Problem is, ugh, some of these bolts or nuts are pretty tough. And I kind of have the wrong screwdriver, it's more for electronics, this one. So, I need to get a better tip. Normally I would ha have power tools, but there's so little screws here, it's not going to matter. Get off there. I'll pull this one out there and cast. These screws. Not magnetic, so that's good. I'll just pull the seal off here. The rubber seal there. There it is. This one's done. The copper off the brass. the score just over halfway and then you can just bend it off
Okay, I got some sort of weird um, some device. I'm thinking maybe it's for cameras or something. Cisco Systems, not sure, but got some looks like some kind of RAM. Lots of IC chips. So I took apart already uh, two DVD players, actually three of them. These are some of the boards over here. I'm just gonna make some room here. I'm gonna start taking some of the stuff apart. But this was kind of interesting here. It's got RAM, some kind of RAM. I have to further investigate this board. If anybody knows what this board is, what it might be for, let me know. I'm going to finish for now. I've been here all day doing this here. Uh, I need to clean my garage out. I, I actually took a board, about uh, six computers, a bunch of DVD players and modems and all kinds of stuff. So I, I'll show you the uh, amount of the garbage I made today. All this here. All those uh, we're taking apart today, mostly today. And then I have... A bunch of copper there, cast aluminum. This is all brass. I'm not saying it's 100% clean because some of those inside taps have those little valves in there. But, anyways, some more uh, screws in here, aluminum. And then I got some other aluminum here, heat sinks and stuff. It's amazing. I mean, it gets pretty heavy, you know. It feels pretty heavy. Probably 10 pounds, I think. Um, Anyways, I'm going to cash this in tomorrow. And I need to make room for a wire stripper, so I need to clear the area out, get it organized, and I may even do a flea market run on the weekend, possibly. We'll see. Don't have a lot of stuff there, but maybe I can sell something to make some room. Okay, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share. Have a great day. This is Canadian Treasure Hunter. Thanks for watching.